Hi, my name is Michael Jacobs, Top 100 teacher from Long Island, New York. And today is an interesting topic. You already have enough speed. As strange as that might sound, if you're lacking distance and things like that, when it comes and we look to hand speed or hub speed, the point on the grip where the two hands join each other, golfers are all not that different even based on the level of player. You might have a tour player who reaches a peak speed of 18 miles an hour, let's say, at the hands, and you might have a five handicap who reaches 21 miles an hour. So what gives? How, how can that tour player have much greater club head speed and play better than somebody who has a faster hand speed? It's all about how it gets transferred out, how the motion gets transferred out to the club head. And it's real popular in golf to talk about lag and talking about trying to delay the outward movement of the club. But I'm going to suggest to you that there is a time where the outward movement of the club should be welcomed in a swing. And when the club moves out on the other side of your hands on the downswing, it will act to slow your hands down and add the motion to the club head. So, I think a good way to look at it is when the club is on this side of your hands, which it hopefully is at the start of the downswing and early into uh, the downswing, and then there'll come a point where it then lines up with your hands, and that's really the magic spot. That's the spot where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. And I think what a lot of amateurs are doing, because they don't want to cast or flip or do things that they've heard, is they continue to try to stop the club or inhibit it from moving out. Now, how do they do that? Well, at this point in the swing, the wrists are about to become pretty weak and compromised. Uh, they could put some in right here, but when that club starts to move out, it's really going to rest the wrists a little bit, and they're going to become more structural. So what golfers do then is they start to make a wide move or a really long and straight move at their hands to th help stop them from moving the club out. And I'm going to suggest to you that's not a good idea. Early on in the downswing, it's helpful to take that wide track to stop the club from moving out. But once it gets lined up with your hands about this point in the swing, you want to then take a very sharp or really um, narrow curving action at your hands to get that club to move out and gain speed towards the ball. I always use the fishing analogy to help people uh, understand this. And early on in a fishing cast, you'll see the body moves. The fisherman will make a very flat or straight movement this way. But if they kept doing that, you'll see that their hands might be speeding up, but this rod never moves out. So it's a flat or straight early move followed by a really sharp acceler acceleration curve that gets the club head or the fishing cast to move out. So what's happening in the downswing is we want the club head to move out, but when that happens, your hands are going to slow down. And I'm going to suggest to you that your body and hands slowing down a bit when the club moves out is something that you should welcome. It's going to suck the energy out of you and add it to the club head. And I think amateurs are trying to avoid that from happening. So how can you add this to your golf game, this idea? Well, I think you want to understand that you want to build body movements and hand movements that will delay the outward movement of the club to about this point. When the hands get to this point and the club lines up with them, and then from here, you don't want to continue that. I see a lot of amateurs trying to continue that. At this point, you want the club to move out you want the club to swing out so that it starts to slow your hands down so that motion can be transferred to the club head. And all great players are reaching their peak speed, the fastest that their hands are moving, right around this point in the downswing. And then as the club moves out, their hands end up slowing down. It's not because they're trying to slow them down. It's the moving out of the club that does the trick. And if you think of a figure skater for a second, and they're spinning around like this, they're going fast, 
They don't try to slow down then. They just put their arms out and they end up slowing down. And that's a similar phenomenon you want to have in your downswing. You want to transfer things to the club head. If you don't, it's going to get stuck in your hands and you might have more hand speed than a tour player but less club head speed than a 25 handicapper. This is Michael Jacobs. I hope you found this interesting. We have plenty more coming based on our real in-depth research on simple ways to improve your golf game. Hope you enjoyed.